What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid. We got some rab in the house um, today, guys. I just want to give a huge shout out to Luca um, for getting me this episode because, um, you know, it's been a little bit problematic in getting episodes, guys, as I've, you know, mentioned earlier before, you know, a couple weeks back and stuff like that. So we have um, season two, episode six, uh, Life Has Meaning, thanks to him. So we're going to have to have a display capture for this so you're gonna see a little weird screen pop up here for a second but once i full screen it you'll be able to see the video just like the, the way that we normally do so huge shout out thank you luca for this one i do appreciate it we'll do our best to get the rest of the episodes over time for you guys so we can um continue checking out rad um so without further ado you might see a little funny thing pop up here for a second again but um we're gonna full screen it and get to it guys so let's get it oh shit there's two of me all right, let's do this. Life has meaning, guys. For the Lord said, I am the light and the way. Whomsoever believeth in me shall have everlasting life. Let everything that draws breath praise the Lord. For the Lord said, I am the light and the way. Bums! Ma si sabrogna a carpa. They said you'd have the hoost on up instead. That's how we ordered the carpet, you know. Ah, oh, yeah. Where do you want it, then? I oh, just, just threw there in the lobby yonder. Aina, Aina here, I'll show you. I've got a goat to sacrifice. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. No bother. It's just through here. No bother. Here we go. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> just here, on the stairs. Right, thanks. Sorry about the noise. Do you worship the devil yourself? Me? Uh, no, no. Uh, but I've got a mate that's a... What's your husband for? Come with me and get you. Cup of tea or that? Eh, no, thanks. <laughs> Some blood, then. It's fresh. I'd <laughs> get out of there, guys. Bear! Naked. And the raw, raw, rumping, bare, bum, wobbling, lip, tickling, scudderoony. Sodder. Anything I can get, you guys? Aye, about a bucket of cold water. <laughs> I'm sure wins. You're as bad as that bam over there. I'm stuck a dart in the ceiling last week as a protest against my management. No, I no budget. You all right, Daddums? You got rid of your petted lip yet? Hey, shut your cap, you Judas shit, yeah. I'm running this pub now, and I'll do it whatever hell way I like. And that ain't Mr. Timmons. Young blood rules, Nisbet. Yo! Yo! And if I want a virtual reality machine in my pub, I'll bloody well have one. Ach, don't take it personally, Nori. Rab's just not because he's been warned off a swanner, you know. <clears throat> hey, Rab, another fruit juice. Jesus! I would take that as I know. A virtual reality simulator? Is that where that high-tech armchair is over there? Aye, we yeah. thought a disabled guy must have parked it there till he used the lavvy. <laughs> Aye, we can laugh. But these machines is all to go. They can recreate any human experience, no matter how wild or dangerous. That's it, Eddie. Who's first for blast off? Uh, me. Me. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of man that... Hey, he's probably thinking it's, a, it's gonna be a sex simulator, guys. What kind of simulator would you guys want? Well, um, magic, eh? Designed by NASA to train astronauts, finishes up as a toy for dick brains in a pub in Dublin. 
<laughs> One small step for man, you know. <laughs> mister, mister, what experience can I simulate? Look, okay, anything you like. Just choose a button. Oh, man. Oh, 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 too much. Oh, oh, too much. Oh. Is that blood coming out of his ears? <laughs> Magic. There I am. Many see that. You're missing yourself. Ah, ah, ah. See, see. Very good, very good. My mind. My mind. What the hell can I experience as a simulate new? Eh? Having a job. <laughs> I've no way to go next. No, I do bloody well not. Too much escaping for reality nowadays. What, what the hell experience would I want to simulate anyway? Being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they got him there. She's a job simulator. <laughs> yeah. Same again. Now. Same glass. Did you? All right, if I uh, bring my pet in. If you keep it on a lead. That's him, the guy I was talking about, the warlock. Good. Poor beasts, loony machines, and devil worshippers. Guess if you got to be some kind of twiddle dumpy drink in here, maybe. <laughs> I don't knock it, Nesbitt. I served you for years. What can I get you, pal? White rum. Black ice. What? You got a problem, pal? No, no, no. Anybody here got a problem with satanic worship? No. See? Great wee devil. Hey, boys. Like a rogue. But lovable with it. Good. I mean, Hey, I've got a problem here. Oh, shoot. Just case, uh, it's good to see our homies from Still Game up in this piece. Nice to see you. I like that, you know, Rab definitely has, you know, there's moments and instances where you see some Still Game characters that we've known in these uh, shows, so that's cool. And what's that? What gives you the right to fling your way about in this pub? Hey, he's stoning here with a dug with a water and a snapper and a swirling poker straight out of Freeman's catalog. Hackness, have you in the bloody joint? I didn't send that. This cloak belonged to uh, Alistair Crowley. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that. And what was it? The great beast duvet cover, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a new hearing of me. You might impress this bunch of rejects for a Twilight Zone, but you do not impress me. Tell him! Tell him, Rad. Oh. Holy keek. What a trip. <laughs> you the dog. What the hell am I simulating now? Normality. No chance. Uh, paint of thunderbirds and an aspirin tops. It's a joke, no? You know your trouble, my man, is you haven't learned to respect the ancient wisdom. As a result, I'm afraid I'm going to have to curse you. Your cost. That's the wackest curse. Oh, that, that, was, that, that was a curse, Lily. Is it? All <laughs> right, good cursing. Take it from me. Very soon you will meet with an accident and you will die a horrible and excruciating death. It's nothing personal. That's scary, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a unicorn to sacrifice, a virgin to defleur. Guys, I gotta ask about this sideburns. Is that an actual, um, style that a lot of people rock uh these days and stuff definitely a very interesting style with the you know the thing connected to the mustache um let me know curious it's just something that popped up in the head right now just watching them sees he must be a warlock right enough to have fun a unicorn and govern he must be a sherlock holmes to have fun a virgin <laughs> you know what it was what is that way right hey that's him just because some deranged numpty with an overactive truser won't just put a whammy on me. It'll take me on a few bloody shirt pins stuck in a Sunday doll to worry me by. <laughs> oh! oh you're, a, you're uncanny. You've really got your finger on the pulse. <laughs> I 
Ow! That shit hurts, guys. Unicorn. Hey, Jim. What a people. Where be your wife, Eddie? <laughs> Kid always getting in trouble. Damn. There's a new special. Hey, Dad, you want a paper? Your father's got a dart stuck in his head, son. Uh, so he is. Oh. What kind of score did you get for that, Dad? Pull it off, you cheery shrink, Dad! That evangelist was inspirational. Just makes you feel like spreading the Lord's word, doesn't he, Gash? Aye, aye, eh. Aye, eh. But do we have to spread it here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You just wept. Maybe you're right. We'll convert the lounge bar instead. Aye. Gash, son, you all right? Do you know that person, Gash? Oh, vaguely. Uh, it's something to do with my mother's children. The feeler or something. You see? Hey, doll. You want to buy a paper? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a draft about here. Hey, hey, pack it in, you. Yeah. This one's a very warm person. Your arse. <laughs> hey, Dad, you're that one, eh? I need a fence, son. I'm not saying she's cold nor nothing, but every time she opens her mouth, a light comes on, no? I'm going. You may call in a couple of millennia when you and your family evolve. Class! 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 You're the son, son. Don't blaspheme. You'll give the last of a bad impression. <laughs> Life has meaning, eh? Except for beers in Scotland, that is. <laughs> oh, Rob. Uh, I mean, what am I doing here? Look at him. What am I doing here with these people? I mean, look at that effort. Look at him. You know, I hate that you swine. I hate that you swine with every fibre of my being. You know how? It reminds me too much of myself. Did you do much to do, Rob? Hey, I got cursed by a warlock and I'm going to die a horrible and excruciating death. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, she don't care. Nice to have a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care. These bitch. Mind you, I'll tell you, she's been a wonderful wife to me. See that woman now? See that woman? Hmm? If it came to a choice between that woman or Michelle Pfeiffer, I would choose Michelle Pfeiffer. Thank <laughs> hey, you. I'd have the decency to feel a wee bit guilty about it. You need to be that's sick kind of big hearted bastard that am. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> look at the look at the face. The A to Z of the human psyche. Seventeen years old and he's so anally retentive he's still shiting rusks. <laughs> human frame bare to the nerve. You see, see underneath it all, the notion of some infinitely gentle, infinitely suffering thing. You got me, you ugly big bastard. Don't you speak to me like that. I'll stick my fist in your pulmonary tract. Shut it, yous. I'm trying to tally up here. Will not shut it. It's his fault my bird chopped me. Don't talk, mince. What do you mean? Well, there isn't a bird in government, isn't it? Callies is the elbows from giving you the nudge. Look, custom isn't like that. I mean, she was religious. Oh, and what the hell difference did that make, eh? She sang hymns to you when she was telling you to get your ass suit a coat. Get us out to Margaret, you ugly little rump. Throw me swine at ya! That's it, put an off to have it! You're taking a sweet swine at ya! I must go on. I can't go on. I must. I must go on. I can't. She looks like she's losing it, guys. What's she counting that change for? What do you think she's gonna buy? Oh, no, oh, go on. So it. Well, I'm buggering. Damn, no! What is she doing? Check this bear. Oh, make no mistake. 
she that will open her heart to the word of the Lord will feel the healing balm of his loving and almighty embrace. You back in the again. Nah, well, don't bloody worry. I'm offski. I'm gonna wait to find myself. I will. Will you find yourself at the end of my boot? <laughs> you prodigal wee swine, ya. Yeah. Offski. Excuse me. You know how you say that life is meaning? Is that even for people with provident lines? Yes. Even for people with provident lines. This is well to ask. Before I go make an ass of myself while I'm tambourines, no? Hold your baby. So what you do that? 2,000 years has been on the go, and it's still no working. I mean, why don't, why don't we privatise the Elspeth of Canterbury or something, you know? Make some money and I share us with you in the old spine. Can I, can I recoup some of our spiritual losses, that style? I liked you better on your teetotal nose, but... And I don't even like you then. I mean, unfucker your face, ya. Sanctimonious swine, ya. See, Ryan, see, Ryan. Ryan is a Christian in reverse. He turns the wine into water. You want to watch yourself, man. That's heretic talk. The Godfather's been known to chub people for less than that. The Godfather can join the crew with the rest of them. Because I'll tell you, my ass is promised to the Antichrist. Remember? Allow the big man. Some nerve, eh? Did you want change for the virtual reality machine, Doddy? The machine? Saw that. I'll just watch Big Rab's pupils dilate and steed. <laughs> Trippy. Now that's what I call a walk on the wild side. <laughs> he shouldn't have drank. He's been off it too long. Moan, Rab. Moan. Get me behind me, Cotter. And get you in front of me, a pint of Mick Jagger. <laughs> religion, eh? Religion don't stop me. Cos religion has ruined my life. You spare a few coins, please? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Collecting for the underprivileged. Many are so grateful, no? Are you bloody right? Cos I'm... I'm underprivileged, but I don't see you rattling a tin in my behalf. You? I wouldn't rattle a stick in a shite pail for you, Paul. <laughs> I remember Thank this. Thanks. I remember when they go around asking uh, for donations and stuff like that very, very, very often. See, that is what gets me about these people. It's a hypocrisy, isn't it? We want, we want face it's all oh, many thanks. With the other, it's get your air through my coupon. See you, you make me sick, ya multi faced, oozy, unctuous bitch, ya. Don't you speak to me like that. Religion has changed my life. I and I'll change your bloody features if I get in the middle of your path. Oh, you got you my sight. Flower for the lady. Gosh! What the hell have you done to yourself, son? No, no. My name's no Gash now. It's delicate child of the eternal moon. What? I've joined a rare religious sect. We believe in the innate harmony of the universe. So I've changed my swine and name to delicate child of the eternal sod moon. So do you want to buy a bloody flower or don't you? As a matter of fact, I'll take a hell sodden bun. Uh -oh. Now, good. It's about time you treat my ma better. Oh, they're they not for your ma, son. These are for you. See, because I'm going to ram these doing your delicate, bloody karma hole! <laughs> Come here, you <laughs> Religion's certainly changed in these bits, hasn't it? Ah, it's made them more at one with each other. Beautiful moment right here. No better family than these guys right here. You almost looked like he was laughing. God, get it? And don't come back. I don't you bloody well. I'll know bloody well be back. Go on. May your tongue be cleaved to the roof 
of your dental plate, and may your beer cellar be visited by a plague of locusts. Jeez. When you don't have to chase you on a bloody bath flies personally. <laughs> so rag! Leaflet, sir? Uh, no thanks, sir. Well, it wouldn't harm you to take one. Uh, and it wouldn't harm you to take one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. When I say no, I mean no. Word. See you, Bill, see you, Bill. You think, you think you've got some kind of monopoly on, on God? Just because you've discovered religion, don't you? God's word does it, God's word. I'll tell you, see if I was God, I'd be mere bloody pussy who I had spreading my word there, yeah. Because I'll tell you, boy, I wouldn't have you spreading marmite on my toast. <laughs> tell him, Rap. You. Yeah. You know, DJ, I thought that cost you a lot, man. Eh? Don't you start, yeah, you feeble-minded Fourth Division Faust that you are. <laughs> you? You, think, you, you think you're malevolent, don't you? Stunning there in a, in a conjurer's cloak with a, with a dog with a bloody carnet on its nap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, you hear me. There is no devil. Satan does not exist. Pack that in you, that's blasphemy. Well, I'll tell you, if, I, if, it does, if it does exist, why did you not just slight me down? Why did you not just do his worst now? Come on, you dirty big horny swine at ya! Do your worst, come on! See? See? Oh, my Allah, boy. Oh! Are you all right? Jesus. Oh. Hey, da! War cry! Nice music there. Ah! Oh, it's a hell of a life when I get that, isn't it? When you shut about scratching your ass for 40 years, and then in the space of one day, you get cursed by the devil, denounced as a heretic, and then some happy bastard runs out of your napper with a truck <laughs> just to prove how it one with mankind is, you know? <laughs> See when you get right down to it? It's all birth, copulation and death. And I'll tell you, the rest is pure bloody guesswork, you know? <laughs> You know, well, oh. this is what we talk about when we talk about life, you know. Look at me, there's not even a peep of him. There's a funnel up his ass, a breeze between his ears. <laughs> well, the same, I suppose. His guess is as good as yours, you know. <laughs> you know he knows his shut up and keep going. And then an upper one, I can't make any philosophical advance in that, no. I mean, honestly, can you? Here you are, Mr. Nesbitt. Just a wee jab. It'll take away your pain. Oh, hello, Rick. <laughs> don't like I could have been doing one of these when I paid my last phone bill, you know. <laughs> Make somebody happy with a phone call. Ah, we know who the bloody somebody is, don't we? The greedy bastard that keeps jacking up my charges, you know. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, a wee bit of merry banter there, you know. Put you at your ease. Because I'll tell you, see, you and I will be here all night. The jags don't take with me, you understand. I've got abnormally high resistance, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the resistance. <laughs> Nurse, Mr. Nesbitt? Oh, Mr. Maharg, I'm afraid I've just put him out. Uh, perhaps I could just sit by his bed and offer a short prayer. Well, I really shouldn't. He is in intensive care. But I don't suppose it'll do any harm. You might even do some good. Quite. I know you can't speak, so don't even try. But I come with a message of hope. Right up. You come together as a result of an accident. An accident which has left you in some degree of physical pain. You know, 
a strange way, there's no such thing as an accident. Each occasion, however irrational, is all part of God's scheme. What we call an accident can be God's way of calling a man to his word so that his spirit may blossom and his life have greater meaning. So you see, in a strange way, there truly is no such thing as an accident. Oh. Oh. I didn't know we he had that sound. <laughs> wow, we got more good work to do. Oh. Still fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's our rap. So as here's another one to keep it company. You're the fun since you've lost your faith. I never lost my faith. I couldn't afford my faith. £3.79 for a jar of Nescaf to host the coffee morning, Ella. Yes, I was that desperate I did end up knocking one out of the safe way. Could have defeated the moral object, no? Aye, it's a wicked world, Mary. There's too much immorality these days. Hey, you going to wrap up? Or a fella in here trying to deflower a virgin? Aye, show some consideration. <laughs> Rob, you better do some here. Then people will be cut up to new wains. What do you mean? What do you mean? We worship you, O Prince of Darkness. Where's the virgin they're sacrificing? Yeah, she's here there. You're kidding. I thought that was the goat. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Peter, Prince of Darkness! Hail Peter, Prince of Darkness! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So good to see so many friends of Lucifer with us here this evening. Because, as you know, evil has been getting a bit of a bad name recently. Frankly, devil worship has been sensationalized by the gutter press. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. Sure, we sacrifice goats, yes. We deflower virgins, and indeed, on occasion, we daub our naked flesh with the warm blood of animals and engage in unspeakable acts of sexual depravity. But, ladies and gentlemen, does the public ever read about all the wonderful works we do for charity? Well said, yeah, well said. And furthermore, there are... the door, Peter. Will I get it? No, I'll go. You polish the bone and knife. You're the kind of things you find yourself having to do these days, aren't it? <laughs> I mean, see, 20 years ago, you, you would have been nicking next door to ask him to turn their television down. Five years ago, it would have been a ghetto blaster. Nowadays, it's to ask them if they wouldn't mind not usurping the moral order and mind bending your wains into sucking your liver out your arse through a bloody goat. <laughs> but then again, needs must when the devil drives, eh? Do you denounce the devil and all his works? No. Who? Oh. Uh, oh, well, that's good, because I'll tell you, I'm going to enjoy ramming this fork right up your bloody hellhole, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Get him, Rob! Get me in front of me, straight! Aye, Rob, see when you're finished, they're going to get a privet a trim. It's a bloody disgrace. <laughs> I don't trust Mary with those uh, those clippers. She's the type that she would chop my balls off, man. Uh, fantastic episode right here. Hold on. We got to take this little display cap off. All right. Back to that, guys. So hopefully, if all worked out right, um, the episode should be much better. Um, big shout out to Luca for that one. This one is definitely a very um, kind of a strong episode. Um, it, 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 it speaks home a lot. Um for the fact that especially with like uh religions and stuff and again everybody has their beliefs and you know things that they do believe or they don't believe but uh i remember lots countless times um 
you know, when I was growing up that um, when the, um, you know, the Bible, I, I don't know the right term for it, but the, um, you know, the people that, um, you know, trying to talk to you about God and all that, and um, they would come up to me and then, you know, the times that I'm like, I'm not trying to hear it, they would be pressing me. Like, you know, they just would not like take no for an answer. And, um, you know, when I was younger, again, you know, you know, you think your own um, belief and, uh Again, I was like playing a lot of games. Nothing really changed from right now as far as we playing games. But I wasn't trying to hear a lot of that stuff. If I was going to learn it, it was through um, learning it through school and all that stuff. So like people would not take no for an answer. So like when Rab, you know, headbutted him and stuff like <laughs> nothing I would do. But, you know, it's like, damn, man, like, yo, bro, let me breathe a little bit. So Rab takes it to the... Uh, to the extent that I don't know that everybody would do, but maybe some of you guys would do, but it's freaking hilarious when he does it. So that's this is where the show shines. Um when he's like taking jabs at his wife, like Michelle Pfeiffer or um or you know Mary, I'm going for Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, so those little small jabs, and even when he was choosing the bottle over you know, as as his love that he would never change that going anywhere, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. Um, was really funny and stuff and, and and that's what I like the kids you know changing stuff you know he was going into he was going for the girl with the girl um, about religion then he switched into like kind of like Buddha like but oh my god they just floating different things and stuff even the wife was getting at it so this was a a, um, a good episode for me because it does hit home with some of the experiences and stuff dealing with that um, and again I, I do strongly believe we all believe what we want to believe and um, whether you don't or not, I don't judge. Um, but uh, you guys let me know, um, you know, what you guys thought in the comments below. Big shout out again one more time to Luca. Thanks for the episode, bud. Appreciate that, homie. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace and love. And uh, leave those comments down below.